PaperDesk is a journaling app that will replace the spiral bound notebooks that many of the students use. This app will allow students to create as many notebooks as they want, share them with educators, and keep them backed up. That way they can't lose them. This will be a simple overview of the PaperDesk app. Currently, I've started a new PaperDesk app and I haven't added anything to it. So let's look at the two primary things we can do. The first thing is to add a new journal. So I'm going to tap the plus symbol on the blue journal. And I'm going to give my new journal a title. Maybe even a color. And I'm going to choose create. If I have a PDF in my Dropbox account or on the iPad, I could use them to create this. However, I'm going to start from scratch. Now I have a science journal. I could continue that process to make as many journals as I like. If I get a lot of journals or several journals in one subject area, I might choose to use folders. If, let's say for example, I have another journal for science. I could choose to make a new folder by tapping the plus symbol on the folder and giving it a new title. I'm choosing create. Now I have a science journals folder where I can tap the folder icon within a journal and move it to a folder. I see no journals. I tap the folder to open it to see what's inside. I tap it to close it. That's folders and journals. Across the bottom you have a couple of important things that you might want to be aware of. The first thing is the auto-sync. Currently, for fifth grade students, we have auto-sync already set up to a Dropbox account using your Google applications username and email. So every time you go back to them, this primary page, PaperDesk will automatically back up your files for you. You could also choose to give PaperDesk a password. Please do not do this as you will be sharing these with your teachers. Another thing you could do in this icon window, in this system settings type window, is change the look of PaperDesk. You have two choices, the brushed metal that you've seen or the wood and leather. I will tap wood and leather and choose save settings and click OK. There's wood and leather. Personally, I prefer brushed metal, so I will tap that and press save. If you press the I symbol at the bottom, you tap that, and you get a couple of things. You can get a manual, and you can get questions. These are both web links to some pretty useful information. If you tap manual, Safari will open, and you will be taken to the manual page of the MyPaperDesk.com. I will double tap home, tap paper desk again. This time I'll select questions and I can go to the frequently asked questions area. Those are both pretty useful links. And we don't have any of these styluses so I will X that out. You could also search your notebooks. You knew you kept some notes on the Trianosaurus Rex and you're not sure which notebook you put it in, you could actually search that. Those are the most important tools for this overview of PaperDesk.